Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So today what I want to do is take apart one of these power washers. You find them a lot on garbage day, especially during fall and spring cleanup. People throw them out because they have a water leak inside of it, or like this one, the motor doesn't work anymore. And the nice thing about these power washers is there is a lot of good scrappable material found inside of it, as well as in the outside. So what I want to do today is I'm going to take it apart, show you where the goodies are, how to maximize your profit, and most importantly, divert this away from the landfill as best as possible. So here we go. The first thing I will say, there are a lot of screws, and for the sake of time, I have taken a lot of the exterior screws off. Unfortunately, word of caution, there are some screws that are very difficult to get off of these. Uh, they are very hard to open up. So what I love to use, especially on this, is I will take as many screws out as I can, and then I will use a hammer just to finish it off. So as you can see there, that is why this plastic shell is all banged up, but it allowed me to open it. This unfortunately is plastic. Uh, I cannot do anything with this in our municipality other than go to the landfill. Uh, some municipalities, some regions will take heavier plastic. So um, it depends on where you live, but unfortunately for us, this is garbage. Inside, you can see not much to it. I've already removed one of the screws. This is just a plastic cover that comes off and it reveals, once I take it off, a nice motor. This motor is gonna have copper. It's gonna have some cast aluminum. As well, there is gonna be a lot of power cord inside of here. So this again, unfortunately, is plastic. I am just gonna set this off to the side right now. And I will say as well is once you start taking out the screws, you do want to put something under it. Uh, sometimes there is a little bit of oil that comes out of it. I find egg cartons are great for absorbing that. Um, and as you can see, the rest of this is actually plastic. There's a couple small little strands of wire. I'm just going to finish cutting out and then I will just get this thing off. So bear with me. Just got to find my screwdriver. And the nice thing about these is there is some really good wire that I am about to get here. So unfortunately, the rest of this is plastic. Um, I have gone ahead and removed all the internal screws. So as you can see, this magnet is full of screws. And what I do is I just put these into a container and I will bring it in in a container like this. These usually once filled are about 10 pounds and this is uh, steel. So right now, steel is going for about $260 a pound Canadian, which is awesome. So great place to put it. Also a great place to have it traveling to a scrap yard in a container so it doesn't fall out and potentially pop someone's tire. So a lot of screws. Again, there is a couple things that I want to mention. The first thing is there is a large hose. This is the hose that uh, connects to the um, uh, sprayer. And unfortunately, this hose is garbage, except there is some metal here on the end. If I put a magnet to it, this is magnetic. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna cut this part off. I will throw this into my steel pile. The rest of this is unfortunately garbage. Um, some people do sell parts online. Unfortunately, this did have a big kink in it. There is a couple slices in it, so uh, this is gonna go to garbage. But uh, again, that is one option if there are pieces that are in good working condition. The power cord, this is what I love about these big power washer. There's always an extremely long power cord that goes with these. And the nice thing about these power cords is, I'm gonna first take it up with the camera. As you can see inside, there are two strands of copper uh, wire. This at a scrap yard is going to go for what we call 40% copper recovery. At a scrap yard, for when we deal with appliance wire, there's 40% copper recovery and 60%. Because this has two inner wires that have coating, as well as an exterior coating, there's more plastic, less copper ratio. But this is gone right now for $1.23 a pound Canadian. And I just weighed this, actually I have a scale right beside me. This weighed 
three pounds. So at $1.23, that is a great score. Um, if this was only single wire cover, it'd be 60% and it would be going for about $2.13. But uh, again, not gonna complain. Uh, you do wanna make sure you separate the wire. So this kind of stuff would be with vacuum cleaners, it would go with dehumidifiers, anything that has two layers of plastic on it. Uh, but as I said, there is really nice uh, wire here. As well, there is a head on here. There is gonna be brass in here. You can see the brass prongs. I am gonna open this up and get the brass out of here. So I will probably just cut this head off. I'll put this wire away and then I will open this up. It's got some screws and uh, there's a couple safety screws that I have to get out, but nice brass in there that I'm gonna take out. And the rest of this, once I take that brass out, I can throw this also into my 40% plastic recovery because there's still gonna be some copper wire running through that. So as I said, about 2.3 pounds worth of wire there, which is awesome. There is also inside of it another piece of hose, so this will add up in weight, but there is inside by the trigger a box like this. If you open this box up, which I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna show it to you. There is what we call a silver contact or a relay box. I'm just gonna pull that out using a screwdriver. Uh, sometimes they are connected with a type of screw. So I'm just gonna look how this is connected here. Okay, so it is bolted in. I do wanna make sure I get this. Uh, wanna make sure I put safety glasses. There it is, I just pulled it up. The rest of this wire is gonna go into my 60% copper recovery again. Cut that. Inside of these relay boxes is anything you have, like a trigger, you got a click there. This is gonna have a little bit of silver in it as well as a little bit of copper. Um, these you find also in microwaves, this kind of style. You'll find about four of them in there. Uh, you'll also find um, square boxes. And again, great place. I love these relay boxes. I have a big bucket of them. Uh, and all I'm gonna do for this video is I'm just gonna open it up for you. Just gonna take a hammer. I'm just gonna hit the one side very gently to open it for you. You can also sell these online, but this is a educational video that I wanna use. First I gotta find the, the seal there. Sorry, I was pitting the wrong side. There we go. That helps if I hit the right side. And I wanna make sure I don't lose this thing from you. So I'm just gonna open it up here. There we go. Turn it for the camera. So inside, this is what it looks like. You can see, I'm just gonna pull these apart, these little levers. There they are right there. They're just connected. Sorry, I gotta use a sharper blade to get in there, the prongs. So I'm just gonna try to slide it out. There we go. So there's some brass here on this handle. You can just see the tip there. There is a little bit of brass with a little bit, or a copper with a little silver dot on it. Just give me a second. And on this one, you can see there's some copper and there's a dot right there. That dot is gonna have a small little bit of copper, or sorry, of silver. And what I do is I actually just put it into a vial. I will collect it up and hopefully one day I will hit it with some nitric acid and I will make myself a small silver bullion. There's the other one that I have. As you can see, there it is. There's the dot. It does have a little bit, if I turn it, copper and then piece of silver. Um, so you definitely wanna store these up. Um, silver contacts, great. As well inside, there's also other smaller wire, as you can see like this. This wire as well is, as I can see, double strand. This all ran inside of the power washer as well. This plug has some brass on it. I'm gonna take that brass, I'm gonna put that into my uh, brass bucket. Currently brass is going for $2.95 uh, Canadian. I do separate my plug ends. Um, so it's the same thing with my power cord that I had. Um, I will take the brass ends off here and I will put them into my brass bucket. But again, some other smaller wire, it all adds up and I just throw it all together. There is also on there, on the lever, a dial. 
that will turn the, um, the uh, gauge or the pressure. And I'm just gonna open this up for you. There is gonna be some brass as you can see, but inside there's also gonna be more brass. And again, this is where I love hammers. I just hit them, break them open. And make sure I have safety glasses on. But there is, again, all these plugs have brass on them, so I'll just pull them out of the plastic, put this into my clean brass. There is, unfortunately, some more plastic. But I'll make sure, again, this goes in the garbage, but taking out the precious metals and the different metals that I can get is all worth it. I'm looking in here. There is also another silver contact on this one. I pry this up for you. Any type of lever again, there is your silver contact. Hopefully, I need obviously a knife, but just gonna turn that one so you can see it. There it is. There is another small dot. There's another piece of silver inside of there. That one has a little bit of silver. So another relay box or switch has more silver. So I definitely wanna put these into a pile together. Don't lose those. And the last thing I also wanna do before I get to that motor is your gun. The nozzle does have some brass in here. Very easy to take apart. I just unscrewed it, so this comes off. Inside of it, I've got the inner mechanism. And as you can see, there is some brass that has with plastic. The plastic's gonna go in the garbage. I'm just gonna use my grinder after and open that up. There's also, if I take a magnet, this part is uh, ma magnetic. So this is gonna be steel, but this is brass, clean brass as well. In the handle here, here's another nice chunk of brass that I'm gonna take out. And unfortunately, the rest of this gun is plastic, but you definitely wanna make sure you take the nozzle as well, because there's always brass in there and some steel. And I also make sure that I get every little spring and screw from inside. Um, all of it, if I can, you know, divert it from the landfill, it's great. Uh, it all adds up and I just put it into a bucket. The last thing, as I said, was the motor. And as you can see with this motor, you can see right there the copper spool. Um, copper motor goes right now, it's about 15, 10 to 15 cents a pound Canadian. And that is a good chunk of copper if it's, or a good chunk of copper if it is copper. Unfortunately, sometimes you have to do the scratch test to see. And what I've already done is the scratch test. I'll bring this up to the camera. Unfortunately, you can see right there, I just took a file to it, scratched it, and it reveals a metallic color. And what that means is that is actually not copper wire. It's actually aluminum that it looks like copper. They now coat it because aluminum is cheaper. So unfortunately that is not copper. So I'm actually going to leave that as a copper motor and throw it into my copper motor pile. If it was copper, I would definitely take it apart. I would take, I would take the copper, put it into my number two bin because number two bin, number two copper currently is about $4 and 34 cents Canadian, which is an awesome price. And someone mentioned that they could tell the difference uh, depending if it's a reddish color. This came out of a vacuum cleaner. This too is a motor. This is the reddish copper. However, if you scratch this, this does reveal copper. So don't assume, um, make sure you do the scratch test. Uh, I am gonna go ahead and, and take it off. There is a number of bolts. I have taken a few of them off. These bolts are gonna go into my um, steel pile too which is great. I gotta make sure I get the right screwdriver. Uh-oh, where are my screws? I gotta always make sure I have the right one at my disposal. So there we go. So very easy to do. Like I said, the, it might take a little bit of WD-40. I did have to uh, squirt a couple of them. Uh, especially considering, you know, they're under pressure, they're under water, um, you know, sometimes they will get a little rusty. You do want to make sure as well that you check your screws with a magnet. Sometimes they will use stainless steel ones, but as you can see, this is magnetic, which means 
that these are not stainless steel coated. If they were stainless steel coated, I would be looking at uh, about 75 cents a pound for stainless steel. Um, you know, some barbecues are stainless steel. Um, sometimes you'll get different things off of appliances like blenders or uh, coffee machines sometimes have stainless steel. It is, uh, you know, definitely worth separating, okay? Um, but the nice thing about this is this, because that is not copper, I'm just gonna throw this in as is to my copper bearing motor pile. Um, again, 10 to 15 cents. So definitely not gonna waste it. Now I have, as you can see, this is the other part of my motor. And if I put a magnet to it, it does not stick everywhere. It does stick in here. There is steel in here. And the thing about this is there is a small little bit of brass that I'm gonna take out. But because this has an inner cable to it, I wanna see if I can open it up. If I cannot remove the steel out of there, I'm gonna actually just throw this into my steel pile. And the reason is, is you do have two options. Because there's steel and cast aluminum, if this was just clean cast aluminum, it's gonna go for about 50 cents a pound. But because there is steel mixed with it, it would be considered dirty cast. And dirty cast is only about five to seven cents a pound. So it makes more sense to put it into your steel pile and get, or tin pile, and get 10 to 13 cents a pound, because that's what steel and tin are going for right now. So as you can see inside of there, there is a little bit of oil, so that's what this is good for. Um, Again, I don't think I'm going to be able to get that steel out of there. And I'm not going to waste a grinder on this because, like I said, it's going to be dirty cast. It would be a lot of slicing. It's a lot of wear. So I'm actually just going to leave this. Check this one. So these are all going to be inside of this. There is a little bit of cast that I can take off this little piece once I remove these bolts. Um, so there is a little bit of cast that I can get, but if the inner core, which I'm looking at, and it is steel inside, it is not going to come off. So I'm not even going to waste my time with it. I'm just going to throw this whole thing into my steel, get the 10 to 13 cents a pound for it, um, which is obviously way better than my dirty cast. So, uh, that's it. Very easy. Unfortunately, a lot of plastic. Sometimes you will get two guns or two triggers. Uh, you do want to make sure you check. This one I've already checked is just plastic. But definitely the inner trigger, you'll find a lot of brass. You'll find a motor. You definitely want to check, do the scratch test to see if that is copper. And again, unfortunately, this was not copper. But just want to quickly show you how easy it is. All I would do if that was the case is I would just take a, a, a grinder, make an incision on both sides, turn it over, and I would just pull out this copper. Um, and the nice thing about that is I just throw that copper into a big bag of number two. It's easy to build up weight. I just actually put away a bag of just motor and transformer copper number two. It weighs 38 pounds at $4.35, that's a great score. So make sure you get that copper, um, but because this is not copper, it's just gonna go into my motor pile at 10 to 15 cents, and this weighs a good four to five pounds. So I'm gonna make at least some money there. Uh, and lastly, as I said, great score as well, you've got your power cord. Hope that uh, was informative. Hope that answered some questions. Please comment down below, like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Tin Man out.